The school doesn't like AI. They don't really allow it, technically. But what I think is, over the past few years, there's been the rise of AI products. Naturally, over the past couple of years, we all use AI on a daily basis at school, like notes sometimes, or for like general answers. And I think the rise of AI, like in schools, like uh, ChatGPT and those types of things, I think that also kind of inspired me to do Flow because it opened up a new bridge. My name is Michael and the founder of Flow AI. Over the past few months, I've been building something by Revolutionary, a general AI agent that actually gets things done. From booking flights, to cancel subscriptions, to making presentations, Flow can do it all. This is one step closer to AGI in the glyphs of the future. Um, my name is Michael Goldstein. I'm 13 years old. Uh, I live in Toronto, Canada, and I'm the founder of Flow AI. Flow AI is a general AI agent, so it's an agent that can do a wide variety of tasks, not only one certain thing. So a couple months ago, I had the idea, and I reached out to multiple developers to ask if they wanted to help, and none of them really said yes. I don't know, probably because of my age and a bunch of other things. So I started building it myself, using like a bunch of AI tools to help. Um, so I also, I do coding lessons now every week, so I can in the future do it myself with no help from anyone. Right now I'm actually, I like, got a paying user. Someone else said I should do normal, a normal kid life. But what I think is just build, <laughs> build, build, build. <laughs> Like I have a group of friends, right? I like our little bubble. And we all are kind of uh, have a similar spirit for entrepreneur. So a project we did and still do more of is weather balloon launches. Um, and those are really big balloons that go to 100,000 feet and then come back down. And the first one was on CNN yeah, for the solar eclipse. We did it during there. And I think it's fun to see it actually working. So my friends, they, they, they know I have this a spirit. So they weren't that surprised. And I think my family, I think it's the same. My family knows that I have this type of spirit. Uh, so I think um, they weren't surprised also when I launched it. They were very excited and happy. And I, I don't know if they expected it to work also. <laughs> I had extracted all the emails of users from Superbase. And I sent an email to everyone, giving them everyone a discount. And I woke up and I got a response from one person who was saying the code wasn't working. Um, so I had to fix that glitch and I responded. And then I got the message from Stripe. I got my first sale. It happened when I was walking downstairs. <laughs> um, so I was very excited. I told all my friends and family and parents. So I ran into my parents' room and was like, ah, I made it. Yay. <laughs> So uh, my experience has been good, I guess. Um, of course, there's advantages. Like when I, when I posted the launch video, that did pretty well. And I bet my age was a factor of that. A lot of people are also more curious because I'm younger. Uh, so I think it opened up a lot more opportunities, like this interview, for example. I don't know if it would have happened if I was much older. <laughs> um, so a lot of opportunities open up when I'm younger, uh, like Founders Inc. also. But that's a very big accomplishment also. Um, I'm the youngest accepted there also. I was invited to uh, a summit in Paris, uh, one of the top AI summits. So that was, that was something that happened from the interview. And the disadvantages are probably, um, it's hard to get people to trust you also. So on top of the advantages that, that some people don't really trust me, for example. And I guess like I mentioned earlier, uh, recruiting is really hard. Um, when you're much younger, because I have no capital, right? I guess my birthday money, right? So I think that was the hardest part. It took a couple of months before I could recruit two developers and one guy who does who helps with strategy. They actually reached out to me first, all three of them. Uh, they all reached out saying they're interested and they would love to help. Uh, right? I reached out to a lot of adults and mentors and all types of people to help. And a lot of them helped. So I think I have to give back to everyone, watch as them but everyone. We're all interested in AI. Uh, we all use AI on a daily basis at school. Uh, I think not only my friend, I think the whole everyone at school, all the kids now use AI. 
So I think we're all interested in, in it in terms of my friends and the school. There was a lot of AI tools available, but I really think we only use one main one, which is ChatGPT. I think a lot of kids at school don't know about the other tools. And I think you have to be more involved in AI to know about the other tools. So yeah, I think most of the school or the kids or my friends are using ChatGPT only, which is unfortunate. Um, only recently really is when I really learned in depth about AI and how it works. And for the idea of flow, it came when I, when I realized that there was a big gap and that there was something that wasn't being done, which is automated tasks. Uh, I think it, it can really help humans with efficiency. Uh, like my parents, for example, we always time filling out forms. But I think that's the biggest one because there's not many platforms that are doing that. Like Claude doesn't do that or OpenAI. I think that's the biggest gap that there is. It's the browser automation. And so I think in general, by next year, I hope to have many more features in it and hope for it to be more smooth, of course, because there's many, many bugs still, which is uh, going to be fixed over time. And that, I think in terms of more of the money type, I set a goal on Twitter for $10,000 in recur monthly recurring revenue, and it might take plenty of years. I'm not sure how long it will take, but I hope in a year we can get somewhere close to that. So I hope Floy Eye is able to, uh, you know, become part of everyone's uh, life, almost, right? Um, I think the goal that it'll be able to do, you know, that can be automated, right? We get to see how AI evolves and that kind of stuff. I think the long-term goal for me is in some way to help people, you know, give back, almost.